Hi, thanks so much for joining me. Today we're going to be learning when I am baptized. For this piece, you're going to want to start on the C five finger scale position. And you also might want to have a pencil or some post-its to mark out things that stand up to you. Okay, so for this piece, we're gonna start on the C five finger scale position. And we're gonna start with that tune. your fermata there so you're gonna hold out that fermata so with that uh, melody there you just want to notice there are quite a few skips there are some steps skip another skip there another way to think of this melody is to think of it in running notes and walking notes running Introduction, and then here I come again with a theme. Now here's where it gets interesting. My left hand is going to drop down, okay, and it's going to drop down to the C five finger scale an octave lower, okay. Okay, so I'm going to do that again. It's going to this rhythm here is a little tricky to this measure here. It's going to go together, right left, right. Let me do that again. So it's together, right, left, right. Together, right, left, right. Okay. And you'll notice that I actually wrote in fifth there because that's a fifth interval, right? That's our fifth interval. The next measure, you'll see that I wrote in a sixth because that's a sixth interval. So I'm going to do a sixth interval for the next measure. So I add a fifth here. I have a sixth. And then after that, you guessed it, it's a seventh. It might be a good idea to pause the video and to practice that. Practice those three measures there. So I would go fifth. Pause the video and try practicing that. <clears throat> now we're going to try doing hands together. Together, right, left, right. So now this next part is a little tricky. I would recommend practicing these hands separately. So I'm going to do just my left hand. hands separate, then you can try adding them together. Again, so it's again. part of the entire piece. So I would definitely make sure to try and just do hands separate right there for quite a, quite a few times. Maybe spend a week on just trying to do those hands separate. So you can get those down down. And then if we continue on to the next measure, here, the, here comes those moving um, intervals again. Five finger scale, right? C. And then notice I wrote E five finger scale for the next one. E five finger scale. So I'm going C and then C up an octave. E five finger scale, E down an octave. F, F up. 
doing just left hand here. So doing the, the left hand for measure 17 to the end. I would definitely drill that. And remember what you're doing is you're just taking that five finger scale and you're moving them up and down octaves. So C up, C, E down, D, F, and then up. You don't have to do the whole piece all at once. You can even just do the first two lines. So your first week of practicing this. The last two lines the next week. The slower you go, the faster you'll actually learn. Enjoy this piece. <laughs> 